Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In this Ruby snack, we will finish up the nested form series with part four, has many through, in which I will take you through an example of using the has many through association with nested forms. If you want to code along, you'll just need a Rails app created, RSpec and Simple BDD installed and set up, a parent and child models created, and a form where the parent is created on the child form. So this is a continuation of Ruby snack number 10, which you can check out in the link right there. And also Ruby snack number five is where we set up the initial nested forms. So be sure to check out these videos. Continuing our Star Trek theme, Starfleet Command has another new request. Now they would like us to add to the crew member form a section where the visitor can create a holodeck program when creating a new starship. Holodeck programs should belong to both starships and crew members. In order to accomplish this, we'll be updating our new crew member spec. We will add a new scenario. Visitor creates crew member and starship and holodeck program. So again, given the visitor views the new crew member form, this time when the visitor enters all info, then visitor views new starship with holodeck program. I decided to go ahead and refactor some of these methods to pull out the information regarding filling in the form. This makes it easier to update when the form changes and also dries up our spec as I'll be using the fill in crew member info method a few times. Now for the new methods. We'll define visitor enters all info by including those other new methods, fill in the crew member info, fill in the starship info, and then fill in the holodeck program info. And then of course we'll click the button to create crew member. Next we'll define visitor views new starship with holodeck program. So we'll reuse visitor views new starship and then expect the page to additionally have the CSS with the ID cm-hp text hollow pursuits. I actually looked it up and one of the episodes that Reginald Barclay was in was called hollow pursuits, which includes some fun with the holodeck. Checking for this ID will help us make sure that the holodeck program is also attached to the crew member. And then we'll check the CSS just plain HP to make sure it's connected to the starship. Then we'll define fill in the crew member info, just taking those two lines we had other places and putting them in this method. And then we'll fill in the starship info, just that one line, and then fill in the holodeck program info. You can start to see here how we'll be nesting holodeck programs within the starship section of the form. So we'll be filling in something that's in starship attributes and then in holodeck program attributes. And then that's just the title. And we'll fill it in with hollow pursuits. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Let's move into our text editor where we will open up the new crew member spec. And now we will include the new scenario. Going ahead and moving that over to make it pretty. And now we'll find the places to now replace with that new method fill in crew member info. So we'll take this these two lines and replace it with one line. And there we go. And now we will move down and find those lines again fill in and select engineering and we will replace that with one line. So we're taking away at least one line of code there to dry it up a little bit. And there we go. Now we'll do the same with Starship info. Next we will now add all of those new methods. So that's now just including all of the new methods and let's go ahead and make that pretty select and tab over. And now we have all the methods we need for our spec. Now, of course, we need to run the spec and make sure our changes aren't blowing it up. So into our terminal, we're already in our app, Ruby Thursday, so we're running the spec. And we have three examples, one failure, exactly what we are expecting. So let's scroll up and see where to start. So it's unable to find the field for the title for the holodeck program. That's where we'll start. We'll get right to the fun of nested forms with our crew member form view. We'll change this up to add another nested form. So you'll see that we create a new starship 
and we have the same fields for starship do starship and that goes through then we'll add a line and create a hologram program for the new starship we'll put that in a separate div just to make it a little separate and you'll see we carry through starship dot fields for holodeck programs do and then we'll just shorten it to hp it doesn't matter what you put there so we put hp as long as you carry it through to say hp dot label title hp dot text field title then we end that nested form we end the div and then we end the nested form fields for starship back to our text editor we'll open up app views crew members and the form and then we'll scroll down just to replace the or create a new starship with our new nested forms, plural. And we'll tab that over to make it pretty. There we go. Now we need to create the holodeck program model. So we will run Rails G model holodeck program. We're just going to have a simple title attribute. And then because it's going to belong to Starship and crew member, we need both the Starship ID and the crew member ID attributes, both of those being integers. Once that's run, we'll go into Holodeck program and add the association belongs to Starship and belongs to crew member. Jumping into our terminal, let's go ahead and run that Rails G command to make our model. And there we go. Now I like to go ahead and check out that file created for the database. Make sure this migration looks good and it does. So then you'll run rake db migrate. Now let's go over to models and then hologram program. Then we'll add in those associations to starship and crew member. Next we'll update crew member and starship models to add the association to holodeck programs. So in crew member, we're going to has many holodeck programs through Starship. Then in Starship, we'll put in has many holodeck programs and also accept nested attributes for holodeck programs. And again, we'll reject if the title is blank. We don't want to create extra nameless holodeck programs. We're using has many through because probably we're going to need to update holodeck programs with various attributes. So we want to handle that by itself in its own model. But we also want to be sure that holodeck programs is accessible from both the crew member and the starship. Let's pop these lines in. We'll go ahead to crew member and add that at the bottom. And tab and then go back so it lines up and include has many holodeck programs through Starship. Now we'll go to Starship and we'll add those lines right down here. And then let's make that line up. Good. We've updated our view and our model. Now let's deal with the controller. In the crew members controller, we're going to update the new method just a bit. We're now going to define Starship so that we can use it to build holodecks. So we're going to define at Starship crew member dot build Starship since Starship is the parent model. Then we're going to define holodeck programs with at Starship dot holodeck programs dot build because holodeck programs are the children of Starship. Then later in the file, we'll need to permit the attributes in the nested form. So we'll go into Starship attributes and then add holodeck program attributes with the attributes title Starship ID and crew member ID. Back in our text editor, we'll go to controllers, crew members controllers, and then replace this new method with our new new method and then move that over. Now let's scroll on down to the crew member params. And we'll just include it right after ID. We'll add those holodeck program attributes. And let's move this over to be neat and tidy and save. At this point, let's run the spec again to see where we are and see if we've passed the first hurdle. Yes, okay, new error. We haven't dealt with the Starship show view, so let's do that now. 
will update the Starship Show View to include listings of the holodeck in two places. In this section where we have the crew member name, we're going to add crew member holodeck programs, and we simply need to use that iterator, crew member dot holodeck programs dot each do, and then we have the iterator via HP that we'll use to pull up the HP title. Now we are going to use a class ID CM-HP for crew member holodeck program to make sure the title is appearing in this section under crew members. Down below we will add a section for starship holodeck programs where we will call the starship holodeck programs each do and show the title again. This time the ID will be simply HP so that we can check to make sure that it's showing up in this section. If I had simply written the spec to say find content hologram program title, it would pass. But by using these CSS IDs, we can make sure it's showing up in each section. Alrighty, let's put these updates in. We'll go to views and then the Starship show view. Let's just replace this whole section here with our new view and save. Let's go ahead and run that spec one more time to see if we have it all set up. And we do, it passes. That's it for this episode of Ruby Snacks. If you want more free Ruby Snacks, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And just by clicking that button right there, you actually get it a few minutes before everyone else. Also, if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com by clicking on that red ruby so you can get more ruby thursday awesomeness in your inbox and please be sure to leave a comment let me know if you have any questions thanks so much for watching have a great day